Dear students, in this session we are going to deal problems under the limit minus L comma L for the full range Fourier series. We just recall the Fourier series formula in general in the interval C comma C plus 2L. Now our concern is minus L comma L. Our concern is minus L comma L. Here my lower limit C is minus L and from the problem I can easily say the length of the interval is 2L and half length is going to be L. So C plus 2L where L is the half length we know C is minus L plus 2L. So my upper limit is going to be L and lower limit is going to be minus L. So I can write the formula in terms of minus L comma L. A naught a n and b n and do you remember from the basic videos if the problem is under the limit minus l comma l or minus pi comma pi i can immediately say that if the function is even b n zero if the function is an odd function then a naught a n both zero so those who don't watch the basic video you can go to the playlist and watch the basics on Fourier series. Similarly, problems under minus pi to pi part 1 as well as part 2. Then it will be more easy for you to see this video under the problems minus L comma L. Next remark, if the function is of the form f1, f2, then if you are able to find that f1 of minus x is f2 of x, then it is going to be an even function and f1 of minus x is minus f2 of x, then it is going to be an odd function. Now, let us do some problems under minus L to L. So, these are all the problems we did for minus pi to pi. So, I don't want to repeat the same problems in the session minus L to L. So, these problems you can try by yourself. You can see the videos for your series problems under minus pi to pi part 1 part 2 where the limit is changed to minus pi to pi. So you can work out the problems for minus L to L. So I am going for a new problems with split up. As usual we write the steps one by one. First limits. My limit is going to be minus L comma L that is already splitted in the problem. Next Step 2, we have to write the formula for the Fourier series under the interval minus L comma L. That is my A naught, A n and B n. Step 3, write the property under the limit minus L to L. If it is an even function, 2 times 0 to L. If it is an odd function, 0. Then we can write the result, what we discussed just now. Let us consider f1 of x is l plus x and f2 of x is l minus x. When I replace x by minus x in f1 of x, I will be getting l minus x that is my f2 of x. By seeing this result, immediately I can say f of x is an even function. Therefore, b n 0. Good. We need to find a naught and a n. Let us find a naught and a n one by one. That is my step 5. A naught is going to be 1 by L minus L to L f of x dx. By the property, I can write this as 2 by L 0 to L f of x dx. Now 2 by L 0 to L f of x is L minus x. Do you understand the importance of the problem? If we don't use the property, what will happen? You have to solve for minus L to 0 and 0 to L. It is hectic. So, I am just solving only for 0 to L using the property. If you integrate this, we will be getting Lx minus x square by 2. The limits are 0 to L. Now, when we substitute the upper limit, it is going to be L square minus L square by 2. When you substitute the lower limit, it is going to be 0. So, now LL get cancelled. 2, 2 get cancelled. Finally, I get A naught is equal to L and our concern is A naught by 2 because this is what we are going to write at the end of the problem. So, A naught by 2 is L by 2. Next, we have to find A n. In the similar way, using the property, I am going to write this as 2 times 1 by L. Next, by substituting the f of x value, we are going to use Bernoulli integral formula. Integral u dv is equal to uv minus u dash v1 etc. Since the power of x is 1, I am going to get only two terms. I am taking the non-diminishing function, then u dash is minus 1, u double dash is 0. Similarly, dv is equal to cos n pi x by L dx. When you integrate, I am getting v that is plus sin n pi x by L divided by n pi by L. And v1 is going to be minus cos n pi x by L divided by n pi by L whole square. 
after all the terms will diminishes because of this u double dash is zero mapping u v and u dash v one in the formula we are going to get like this and it is very clear whenever you see a problem under the limit zero t l or zero to pi sign is going to be zero here we have minus into minus into minus minus I'll take two by minus l and l by n pi all square constants I'll take outside then cos n pi x by l zero to L. So simplifying this, we will be get minus two by L into L square by n square pi square. When I apply my upper limit, it will become cos n pi. When I apply my lower limit, cos zero. So L L get cancel. That is equal to minus two L divided by n square pi square. Cos n pi is minus one whole power n. Cos zero is one. When I multiply this minus inside, and I will write my A N as two L divided by n square pi square one minus one whole power n. Now let us substitute this A N in the original. Formula f of x. Since a naught by two is going to be l by two, and a n is there, substituting will be getting like this, and this is my solution. Next problem will be taking a similar one like the previous problem with the detection. As usual, step one we have to write the given function under the limit minus l comma l. Step two write the formula for minus l comma l, and step three. Write the property. From the property, we are going to get if f of x is an even function, b n zero. If f of x is an odd function, a not a n zero. Now let us check this. Take the function f one of x as one plus two x by l, and f two is one minus two x by l. If I substitute x by minus x, I'll be getting one minus two x by l. That is simply f two of x. Therefore, it is going to be an even function. Directly I write b n equal to zero. My next job is step five to find a not an a n. By the property, I can write this as two times one by l zero to l f of x dx. Very good. Since we are reducing the problem to zero to l, I don't want to integrate the function for minus l to zero. At zero to l, the function is one minus two x by l. Integrating this, we'll be getting x minus two x square by two l. Two to get cancel two by l. When I apply the upper limit, I'll be getting l. Minus l square by l. Lower limit become zero. Now two by l. I'll be getting l minus l. Therefore, a naught is going to be zero. Good. Next, we are going to find a n. As usual, by the property, we will be writing only zero to l. And my f of x is one minus two x by l. Now, using Bernoulli's formula, integral u dv. U v minus U dash v one, etc. Since the power of x is one, so U dash, so U is equal to one minus two x by L. U dash is minus two by L. U double dash is zero. Then d v is going to be cos n pi x by L. V is equal to plus sin n pi x by L divided by n pi by L. And integrating v. We'll be getting v1, that is minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square. Now mapping this u v and u dash v1 in Bernoulli's formula, we'll be getting like this. Immediately I can put this is zero under the limit zero comma l. Now we'll have only cos term, so two by l minus into minus plus again one two by l. Then then this constant will become l by n pi. All square, and we have this minus. I'll take this minus outside, so I will simply write cos n pi x by l zero to l. Next, simplifying this, we'll be get four by l square, l square, n square, pi square. Upper limit when I apply it will become cos n pi. Lower limit becomes cos zero. L square, l square get cancelled. My a n is going to be minus four by n square pi square minus one whole power n minus one. Therefore, I can write my a n as four by n square pi square one minus one whole power n by multiplying this minus inside. My a n gets over. B n is zero. A naught is zero. I am going to substitute this in the original function f of x. I'll be getting like this. So we have found the Fourier series f of x, and we have substituted a n. Now the final step is step six, finding the 
deduction. Here the deduction is given as 1 plus 1 by 3 square etc. pi square by 8. Now, when you see the equation 1, my RHS as 1 minus 1 whole power n divided by n square cos n pi x by L. Now, first I have to make this term as 1. When can I do this? When I put x equal to 0, then my cos 0 will be 1. That is my simplest option. And we can see the limit for this problem is minus L comma L. That means x lies inside the limit. We have to choose the appropriate point such that we will be getting this identity. Now for us the appropriate point is 0. Now we took 1 minus 1 whole power n. When I put an odd value n equal to 1, I will take the simplest value. When I put an even value for n that is 2, then this will become 1 minus of minus 1. Here 1 minus 1. So for odd values of n, it will become 2. For even values of n, this will become 0. So now I will take the point x equal to 0 and I will calculate the RHS. My RHS is going to be 4 by pi square. If I substitute the value 1 to infinity, as I said, odd values will give 2, even values will become 0. And when I substitute x equal to 0, then my cos 0 is 1. So now my right hand side is ready. Next I have to find the LHS. Now when you put x equal to 0, my LHS will become f of x at x equal to 0. Since x equal to 0 lies inside the limit minus L comma L. It is going to be point of continuity. Now when you go to the problem, we see f of x is 1 plus 2x by L for this limit and 1 minus 2x by L for the limit 0 to L. My data is x equal to 0, it lies inside. So it satisfies both. So I can take anything as my function. I am taking the first one. This is nothing but 1 plus 2x by L. When I substitute x equal to 0, I will be getting 1. Therefore, my LHS is 1. Now, equating LHS and RHS, I will get the identity. Take this pi square by 4 to the other side. When I substitute the value, I am getting 1 by 1 square into 2 plus 1 by 3 square into 2 etc. Now I'll take this 2 outside. It will become pi square by 4 is equal to 2 into my required identity. 1 by 1 square, 1 by 3 square, 1 by 5 square etc. Now if I push this 2 to the other side, I'll be getting my answer as pi square by 8 which is my required solution. So you can see the typed version. This is my answer. In the next session, we are going to deal problems on 0,2 pi and 0,2 L. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. If you have any queries, post in the comment box. We will try to help you. Thank you. See you in the next video.